Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for another edition of The Update. I'm Justin Hall. It was a busy week inside the General Assembly and we begin in the South Carolina Senate with the passing of S-150 by a vote of 28 to 15. On Tuesday and Wednesday, Senators continued to debate the bill that was introduced by Senator Tom Davis of Beaufort. The bill was given priority status, a special order slot, ahead of the start of the legislative session. Over 70 amendments were debated over the last two weeks, ultimately showing what the deliberative body of the General Assembly is supposed to do. The bill now crosses over to the House of Representatives to begin the legislative process in that chamber. Now that the Senate has passed the medicinal use of marijuana, they can begin to focus on more substantive issues like tax reform, educational opportunity, transparency in education, and election reform. And speaking of election reform, that took center stage in the House of Representatives on Tuesday. The amendment to House Bill 3444 was introduced by Majority Whip Brandon Newton of Lancaster, barring the use of ballot drop boxes, introducing a filing fee for third-party candidates, and enhancing the election auditing process. The amendment was adopted by a 75 to 39 vote, and the bill as a whole will now head back to the Senate. It should be noted that there is legislation proposed by Speaker Jay Lucas of Darlington that addresses issues of absentee voting and voter ID when absentee voting that will be debated in the coming weeks. The American Restoration Tour hosted by Palmetto Family Council and Faith Winds brought Christian historian David Barton to the Palmetto State this week. Over the course of three days, 2,500 Christians gathered across five different cities around the Palmetto State to learn about the true biblical foundations of America's founding. You can watch the full American Restoration event at Florence Baptist Temple on the Palmetto Family Council Facebook page. Decisions are made by those who show up. And if you are the, one of the ones who is willing to show up, it's an important thing for you to know where you are on the issues, what the Bible says about them, and what you can do about them. People tell you, oh, that Christian history is a myth. Bless their heart. They don't know what they don't know. If you look at America as a nation, we're one of 193 nations in the world. Now, of the 193 nations, every one of them has a form of government. The Bible lays out seven different forms of government you see in the Bible. The Bible has some that says are really bad, some that says are really good. And so in our form of government, we wrote our Constitution in 1789. That's the only Constitution we've ever had. It's interesting to see how many Constitutions other nations have had in that same period of time. Imagine living in nations like France, where you've had 15 constitutions while we've had one. All of these other nations, look how often they have turnover and instability and turmoil. And we kind of think stability is just kind of natural for nations. It's not natural for nations. It doesn't matter whether you're an enemy or a friend. More information on all of these issues, be sure to download and listen to the Palmetto Family Matters podcast and subscribe to the Palmetto Family Council weekly newsletter update. That's all for the update this week. For everyone at Palmetto Family, I'm Justin Hall. Have a great weekend.